beautiful look. All these products that I used today was in my boxy charm, so I will be doing a boxy charm unboxing. Maybe that will be one of my first videos before this look. But I created this using that palette. But if you guys want to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned, guys. Bye. All right, guys, so I already did my eyebrows and I primed my eyes off camera just for the purpose of the video. So we're going to just begin with this makeup tutorial. So I have some products here that came inside my BoxyCharm and I'm just going to be, actually, it's like a full face products. I have a lot of product here that I can play with. So we're going to be just doing and digging in and playing with makeup. This came in my BoxyCharm and this is Cab Cosmetic and this is day and night eyeshadow palette when you open it up this is how it looks it looks stunning the colors are gorgeous and I do see the day and night eyeshadow like I can see the day and then I can see you playing with the night colors also so I'm gonna be using this color right here and that is Georgia peach and I'm just gonna place that all over my lid This has a lot of fallout, so make sure you don't put foundation first. It has a lot of kickback on the pan. But all I'm doing is just put that in the crease area. I never heard of this brand, so I'm pretty excited to try these eyeshadows so far it's pigmented but the only thing is that it has a little bit of the fallout and if you guys i mean i don't mind fallout if you guys don't like it this has a lot of fallout place georgia peach on the crease and that's how it's looking so far so it's like a natural look and especially if you're a little darker like me it kind of blends with your skin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Morphe brush and I'm liking the burnt orange color. I'm going to use that color now and I'm going to place that in the crease area. Place that. I'm just dabbing that burnt orange in the outer corner first and then I'm going to do circular motion and bring it in. This burnt orange is gorgeous. Now I'm just dabbing it because I want that color to be a little more brighter. Now I'm going to grab that peach color, Georgia peach, and I'm going to place it right on top of the brow bone. I'm using the same brush and I'm bringing it up. All right, just like that. Now I'm going to grab that burnt orange again and I'm going to bring that color back to life. Now I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush with no product and I'm just gonna blend the harsh line up top. Just blend everything in so it can look seamlessly. on this color right here and I'm going to place that in my outer crease just like that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this color right here Luna and I'm just going to place that all over my lid just like that easy look guys I'm using my finger and I'm just placing that on my lid. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Morphe Fluffy brush and I'm gonna bring cocoa, that brown color, and I'm gonna put it in the outer corner. This is one of the easiest look guys and it's super beautiful and just gorgeous now I'm gonna grab that burnt orange 
and just bring out that orange color. Now, if you want that glitter to be a little more intense and it look like you cut it, I'm gonna use a flat brush. Let me find a flat brush. I'm gonna use a flat brush like this. And I'm gonna grab that Luna color and I'm going to spray it. Watch the difference. depends on how you want the look if you want it to be a little more settled then you use your finger or if you want it to be a little more like cut in the crease then you just use a brush and spray it and it will get it a little more dramatic effect on the lid I'm gonna use my NYX epic wing liner in black I'm gonna wing it So that's how the look that's how the eyes are looking like right now while my lashes are drying I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use the hello fab and this is the coconut skin smoothing prime moisturizer and it's safe for sensitive skin this came in the boxy charm also so I'm going to open it up I'm going to use this it comes in a tube like this and Supposedly is for all skin types and also recommend for sensitive skin. We're going to test it out. Put that on my face. It smells like lotion and it legit gives you like a glow on your face. So I'm liking that. It feels amazing on your skin. And it smells so good. What it has. Let me see. Let me check this product out. It's a base hydrating smoothing. So it is coconut. It has coconut in it. Which that's why that scent smells like that. It smells really good. Alright, hello fab. I'm liking that primer. Hopefully it's good for the summer. Because I am I'm a little oily. So summertime I hate putting primer on my face because I can tend to be so oily and so shiny but I'm gonna place my lashes and I'm gonna do my foundation so I can finish up my face so now I'm gonna conceal my face and this also came in the boxy charm guys I really don't know how to use this like the heck is this? I guess this is just to all right so I'm gonna place this It's a little darker than what I technically use on my nose. And right here on my chin just to highlight. Now I guess I'm gonna use this and this is just to blend everything out. It's like a little sponge. I have to do a little more research with that. I'm just gonna use my sponge because I don't really know how you work that. I use the concealer, I use the shape tape glow. I see the glow, but it's almost the same color of my skin. So I'm just going to highlight it a little lighter. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I'm just going to bring out a little bit of that color because I feel really washed out and I don't like that that makes a huge difference the shape tape it's a really good come to but the thing is it doesn't match 
is almost the same color of my foundation. Now I'm gonna be using the Sayate London and this is the Bamboo Bronzer. And let's open it up and show you how it looks. Super cute. Now this, I'm pretty sure this is gonna match my face. So let's test it out. I'm gonna use this brush right here and I'm gonna push that. Yeah. Now this is amazing. Look, this is like perfect for my color. What is it? South Beach. Okay. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a good bronzer. No, no, no. You cannot go wrong. We like to hide that forehead. I'm going to use a little small little pencil brush just like this. And I'm going to use the burnt orange and I'll place that right here and I'm gonna use this color right here just to blend it with that burnt orange and I'm not bringing it in I'm just right here I'm just placing it right here And I'm going to be using my NYX and this is in yellow. I'm going to place that underneath my waterline just to give it a little brightness underneath. I love these NYX Epic Pencil. So beautiful, but it like open up my eyes. I'm loving that. And of course, I have to do my inner corner and I'm going to place Golden Hour. I'm going to place that in my inner corner. That is so beautiful. yes all right guys so that is the eyes i'm loving it we gotta highlight our face and i'm gonna be using my laura seller new york and this is glade honey i love this so much like look at that a glazed donut I'm gonna be using my ColourPop lippy stick and this is in matte, Ziggy Matte X. Now I'm gonna be using my Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mix. All right guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys love this look using all the products from boxycharm if you guys did then please give it a big thumbs up please comment like and also subscribe and until my next video bye